All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel, Baseball Talk with Nick Morgan. So today we're going to go ahead and talk about a very underrated player right now in Major League Baseball. It is the Cincinnati Reds third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. He's flown under the radar for many people, myself included, and I think he deserves a lot more credit than people are giving him. The guys put up some really good numbers, having a career year, and I want to get into it with you guys in this video. So earlier today, I was going ahead and looking at the most home runs right now in Major League Baseball by player. And Eugenio Suarez is on this list, and I kind of was, like, shocked for a second because, yes, I saw Mike Trout, Christian Yelich, Pete Alonso, Cody Bellinger, not in that order, but I saw them on that list, and I wasn't surprised, but then I saw the third baseman for the Reds, I was like, wait, what? Like, since when did he have 44 home runs on the year? And that's like, yeah, this guy is definitely way overlooked as a player uh, 100%, I think he deserves a lot more credit where credit is due. This guy's been really good, and I like what he's putting up in 2019 number-wise. I think we should go ahead and talk about that a little bit more. So piggybacking off of what I just said, home run count-wise, Mike Trout and Pete Alonso are tied at first with 45, and then at second, it's a three-way tie with Yelich, Bellinger, and Suarez, all with 44 dingers on the year. So those three guys are one swing away from tying it, and Suarez could definitely be like a, a dark knight in this situation. I'll definitely be someone that comes from behind, even just where he is right now, because he is, you know, one of the top guys home run wise. That's something to be proud of. I think he definitely is, uh, you know, I said a couple of times right in this video, and we're already in the early stages, but he's definitely a good guy, way overlooked. So in this season so far, he has 569 bats with a 269 average, 44 home runs and 95 RBIs, three stolen bases and a 914 OPS. And this is the most home runs for him in a single season so far in his major league baseball career, breaking his record of 34 dingers in 2018. Now in his young career, he has 2,758 total at bats with a 265 average, 142 home runs, 422 RBIs, 26 stolen bases and an 812 OPS. So the numbers aren't great there, yes, both in 2019 and his career, his average is a little low. And as a third baseman, that's someone that you're going to be starting a lot of the time. You really want a hot bat. That might not necessarily be him, but he has good power. He brings in a decent amount of RBIs per year. I think it's like an average of 88 right now in all of his five seasons in Major League Baseball. So 88 RBIs on any season, I'll take that. And 26 on bases over the course of his career so far. That's really not big, I don't think. Uh, teams are really focused about a speedy third baseman. If they want a big bat, they're usually not going to have that speed aspect to it. But very good. I mean, I've known him more for his defense over the years, which is why I kind of was so surprised looking at his offensive numbers this year and what he's been able to put up. But really good stuff. I mean, he's an overall great third baseman. So I think at this point, Eugenio Suarez will definitely hit 100 RBIs. He's currently at 95 in 2019. He's also at 44 home runs, like we mentioned a couple times. So 45 home runs, 47 home runs is a nice range, 45 to 47, maybe even 48. Who knows? You know, that might be uh, pushing a little bit, but I think it's definitely possible. I don't know who's going to end with the home run title, but it could be this guy, which is kind of crazy because as of a couple of days, a couple of hours ago for that matter, I wasn't even thinking about him. I didn't even know he was one of the guys that are even up there for second or third, let alone tied, and could have the potential to have the most and have this crown and the award at the end of the year. So the 28-year-old third baseman is a one-time all-star. That was back last season, 2018, with Cincinnati. He debuted with the Tigers in 2014, and ever since 2015, he has been with the Reds. I believe his contract is through 2025, so he will be with this ball club for a little while longer. But he is a young guy with an emerging bat. He looks like he's going to be in his prime starting this year and going forward, maybe even towards the end of last year as well. Like I said, he did put up 34 home runs, I believe it was in 2018, so now 44 this year, 44 plus rather, and just we can kind of wait and see what he does next season. But a lot of great things for the Reds. I mean, they just got Trevor Bauer at the trade deadline. Now they have Eugenio Suarez to look forward to. Michael Lorenzen has been ridiculous on the mound and at the plate. And I mean, they're only 67 and 77 right now, fourth in the NL Central. They have really no postseason push in their immediate future, which is this season. But Suarez is definitely a guy that will help them out, and I think if they really keep on to him, and he does continue to do well in the next upcoming season and only gets better, he will have a lot bigger price tag on him when he reaches, reaches free agency. So guys, it's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like down below, comment, and subscribe if you already haven't. Eugenio Suarez is such an underrated player in my opinion. Again, I didn't even realize this guy 
was at 40 home runs, let alone 44, and in talks for the most in all of Major League Baseball this season. That's ridiculous. I think this guy deserves a lot more credit. And if you guys like this video idea or this like little mini series that we have going, if someone's overrated or underrated, let me know. This is something we can easily go ahead and keep up, have a fun little series going. I could take Major League Baseball stars or just players who are really underrated and talk about them in a single video, kind of call them out, let you guys know really who they are and how good they're doing in their season. So guys, that's going to end it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Peace.